Hey what's up YouTube, this is FTV here and after a pretty long time I'm uploading a new tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can install Ubuntu OS X on, onto your computer. Now I'm running Windows 7 here but there are a lot of things that need to be done at the boot time which I won't be able to show you so I've set up a virtual machine in which I've installed XP so I'll, I'll be doing all this in XP but you can do it in whichever operating system you are it works on all operating system uh, which are on Windows of course I have tried it on 7 and now I'm going to show you on XP so if it works on 7 it works on Vista if it works on XP uh, most probably uh, it comes to all operating systems <clears throat> so first thing we didn't want to do is uh, let's do we open up our internet browser and I'm just going to do it in the virtual machine because that just helps you Actually, I already put in the password here. Okay, so let's see. We you want to go to Google and you want to search for Ubuntu 9.10 download. Now, this is the latest version when I'm making the video. Maybe you're watching it a long time from now, and uh, there is a much higher version. So you just search for Ubuntu download. Okay, so you want to download it from ubuntu.com slash get ubuntu download, whatever it is, or from whatever you can get a higher download speed. So I'll open this one one tab and this one this tab. Okay, so and because I'm using it in the virtual PC, it's just a little slow down, slowed down. Okay, so you want to download it from any one of these. It's a free operating system, so there is no uh, illegal thing here. So you're gonna click on download, begin download, and or from here, whichever you find a better speed, I recommend that location. So oh, I've already done that. Here you go. And the second thing you're gonna be needing is Daemon Tools or even Power ISO, but I'll be using Daemon Tools for now. Okay, so Daemon Tools you can get similarly by going to the internet and in Google you want to search for Daemon Tools download. And uh, you can download from the Daemon Tools website, it's also freeware, so everything in this tutorial is free and it's still an operating system. So, you want to install your uh, Daemon Tools and then you want to reboot your computer. I've already done all that. Then you want to right click on Daemon Tools and click on Virtual Devices. Click on dr dry Device 0 and click on Mount Image. And then you want to go over to your desktop or wherever you saved that. I've just saved it to the desktop here. So I'm going to click on that and click on Open. Now what that's going to do is mount it actually as a virtual CD-ROM. So you want to go over to computer if all run is not enabled I think it's enabled here so you will get this here okay and in main all run is already available and um, you know um, running so if you don't have auto run running you just want to go to computer and right click open this up and you want to double click on this Wubi WUBI actually okay so you can install a demo for try Ubuntu window installing or you can install inside Windows inside the entire thing but what I'm gonna do is install inside Windows you can try that version doesn't matter installation drive let it be C installation size let it be that let this be this everything let it be there and username you can use anything password you have to choose so username has to be lowercase without spaces I'm just choosing red and black and password I'll choose the password here go install and there you go it starts installing Ubuntu and it's gonna take approximately one minute 20 seconds 30 seconds maybe so I'm just gonna pause the video till it does that and then continue from here alright so it's done installing and it's asking me to reboot or reboot later I'm gonna take reboot now and click on finish now you see you can actually see rebooting and there are some things that need to be done while you're on it so that is why I use a virtual machine and not uh, just a regular one so let's see uh, let it boot in here it may take just a little time to boot don't know why but let it boot I'll let it boot and maybe I'll even pause my record until then okay so it's here okay so what you want to do is go in uh, and select this Ubuntu and click on enter now all of it is automated you don't have to do anything here so it's gonna do everything on its own and you just have to sit and watch what it does 
Okay, so you don't need, actually need to do it in a virtual machine, but I'm just you doing it as I told you about three times from now. Okay, so let's do. And maybe I'll even pause the video. Uh, yeah, pause it. Alright, so it's done something, that's why I resume my recording. Uh, it's doing something here, so maybe it is gonna take a long time because it's a virtual PC but um, it's a quite nice one if you look at it if you look at Ubuntu it resembles uh, Mac I think it resembles Mac it resembles Windows it's a mixed version of those operating systems and it's great but the bad thing about it is most of the thing you want to do in Ubuntu have to need to do, have commands for example I think there's one sudo 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 and um, does something I don't know why what but um, it does do it and see even got these gadgets as I have here all these gadgets it had in the name of desklets G desklets I call them and then, uh, I don't call them it they're actually called G desklets so alright so let's pause the video one more time and see what does alright so I just got something here and I think it's done because uh, you can see this unique background in here and my mouse is lagging because of that, but uh doesn't matter. We'll keep our mouse here. And uh you see that it's starting to uh its installation setup. So I resumed the video because I thought something was happening here. Okay, so there you go, something's happening here, checking the installation. And uh, let's see, let it check the installation and I'll just pause till then maybe. Pause it up. All right, so this is interesting. Getting the time from a network server, it actually connects to a server near you and gets the current time. This is interesting and commendable, actually. Okay, so it's almost doing it. Uh, maybe I'll have to pause the video. No, don't have to do it. Okay, there there are gonna be a number of steps here: scanning disks, starting of the partitioner, and all that stuff that you get in Windows as well. So, I uh, I think it's gonna take a long time here. So maybe I'll pause it again. All right. So I saw an awesome activity here. So I resumed it. Maybe this is important. So we have our installing system, detecting file systems, and uh, I think this is all you need here. You don't need to do anything here, I suppose. So let's see. Ubuntu is designed to be fast and easy, feel free to explore. And it really is fast. Um, it's much faster than Windows, of course. It it boots much faster than Windows. It boots uh, much faster than Mac, I think. I don't know why, but yeah, it's got an inbuilt browser called Firefox. Uh, I don't think you've heard of it. Hehe, <laughs> it's a very proud, popular browser. You must have heard of it. And it's a part of Ubuntu. So, browse the web with Firefox. Ubuntu comes with the widely acclaimed Firefox 3.5 web browser. It protects your privacy and personal. Oh no! Enjoy, organize, and share your photos with F Spot Photo Manager. It's really easy to share, touch up, and organize digital photos. Ah, oh, forget it. I'll pause the recording till it does that, and I resume it as soon as I see some activity here. So, see you in around 10 minutes or so. Alright, so it's important to read here what's written because evolution is not something you've ever heard of. It's exclusive to Ubuntu, so you probably haven't heard of it anymore. <clears throat> so it's important that you read everything here. Okay? So I'm not going to be reading a empathy of that. So just read it for yourself. Here you have keeping of it empathy. Empathy is, I think, the br uh, talking one. I don't know what it is, but it looks like the talking one, yeah.